Okay, so in this video tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to create those swipe across carousel style posts that you see everyone using on Instagram that are basically used to encourage people to spend more time looking at your posts, swiping through each image, and therefore telling Instagram's algorithm that your posts are valuable because they're spending more time on it. And that will tell Instagram to show your content to more people. So it is a really, really good um, strategy to use is to utilize these swipe across carousel posts a lot. So thanks again for tuning in to this video tutorial. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of content and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos from me. But let's go ahead and get started. So I've opened up Canva here. Now this is the graphic design software that I would just suggest using for just really simple uh, graphic design. If you're not a graphic designer, if you don't have Photoshop, Illustrator, things like that. Canva is such a good option for you. There is a free plan. I personally have the paid plan, but that's because I work with clients and I need some of their extra features. But there's so much that you can do even on their free plan. Lots of people know about Canva. Um, it's how many, many uh, social media managers and businesses create all their graphics. Um, so I definitely re recommend you checking that out. But I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it. So we are on Canva and I'm going to click create a design and I'm going to go ahead and select Instagram post. They have a whole load of different uh, templates that you can use, but I'm going to select Instagram post. And then you'll see here on the left hand side, they've got some kind of uh, Instagram uh, templates that you can just click on and it will populate here. You can click on any element to change the colors to fit with your own branding and do what you like. Uh, with it, you can replace these photos as well um, with your own photos, edit the text, change the fonts, all kinds of things you can do with their um, pre-made templates here. Um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually start from scratch. So just going to highlight everything in here, click delete. And this is the background color um, that they've added for me. But let me just delete this so that I can show you how to do that from scratch. So basically to add a background color, I'm just going to click on the background and then click this color wheel here. And I'm just going to choose uh, one of my brand colors, which is loaded in because I've got the premium plan, but you can just click on new color and type in your brand color codes there. I'm just going to click on that. So I just wanted this really faded gray um, uh, color in the background. Then there's loads of different things I can add. So I can add photos uh, from their stock resources. I can add loads of different types of elements as well, such as little illustrations, um, image grids, that I can populate like so. Uh, there's loads that you, you can do with it, but what I'm just gonna do is go ahead and just add some text. Um, click to add, now that is preloaded into my brand fonts, but all you would need to do if yours aren't in there is just double click on this and select your fonts. Um, even the free version on Canva has got loads of different fonts to choose from, but I do have a little bit more, um, a little more options uh, with my uh, paid plan, but you don't need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put together the kind of first uh, photo or the first graphic that is going to be part of my carousel swipe along style post on Instagram. Um, and what you really want to be doing is making sure that this first uh, graphic definitely pulls in people's attention and actually encourages them to swipe. Now to encourage people to actually do that first swipe and get the momentum of it, what you can do is go into the Canva elements options and type something like arrow. Um, I'm in caps lock for some reason, but you could um, use any of these kind of like little arrow graphics here that they've got to kind of indicate that people need to swipe along. Again, you can change the colors to fit your brand colors really easily. Um, the way that I like to do it is add like a little tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and just pick up a square block. I'll just go into shapes to find that. And just put a little tab here at the bottom with some text over it that says swipe. And 
And I think I am actually going to use a little kind of arrow icon, but actually I'm going to use this as um, a piece of text. So what I like to do is kind of use text symbols for some things, like especially arrows. Um, you can just copy and paste a actual text symbol by going to fsymbols.com forward slash signs forward slash arrow. I'm just going to copy that and then go back to uh, Canva here and just paste that in where the text would be. And then it adds a little arrow there. So that's how I'm going to create my little uh, swipe feature there. So this is quite simple. You could make yours a lot more elaborate and fancy, um, but this kind of fits in with the minimalism of my Instagram brand. So then what I'm gonna do, rather than just save this um, obviously you can change the name of the file up here. I'm just going to change it real quick. Um, rather than just go ahead and download this and then set up another uh, kind of Canva template here, what you can just do is click this copy page button and just below it that will create a second page using the same design that you've just created. And this just makes the whole process so much quicker. So I'm going to keep that little swipe file there, um, that little swipe uh, kind of tag there and I'm just going to change this instead to be the number one because I'm going to be showing kind of a several step uh, strategy here. So I just uh, changed my mind for using the number one, but I still kind of have this uh, step one text here, which just demonstrates to people, this is just the first of several steps. So you're going to want to keep swiping. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and search for some um, different kind of design elements that I can add to this as well. So this is just adding some nice kind of graphical element to each of my steps, um, which I plan to do. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Then again, I'm going to go in and click copy page, but this time rather than just leaving one swipe tag there, I'm going to add another one um, just by selecting both of those uh, elements there. And I'm going to click duplicate up here, and this will just copy both of those elements for me and then I can drop that in on the other side to encourage people to swipe. Now I'm going to go back and find uh, the other direction arrow icon to paste in there um, and put it on the other side of that text. So this just reminds people that they can either swipe backward or forward. You don't have to kind of include that. You could just keep it um, encouraging people to swipe forward. It's completely up to you how you want the design of this uh, to look basically. But I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the content for this step now. I'm actually going to upload a photo that I've just uh, taken from my phone and sent over to my laptop as a screenshot. You can actually uh, use Canva on a, a phone as well. They do have a mobile app. Um, so if you don't want to have to use a desktop and kind of go between the two, then that is a really good choice too. Um, but I don't mind um, having to do it all on desktop. I kind of prefer it. It's completely up to you. Okay, and then again, once I finish that, I'm gonna click copy page again. The swipes are all fine, that is great. And I'm gonna create my third step. And again, I'm just gonna keep doing this step until I've gone through all the kind of swipeable posts um, or graphics that I want to create within this one carousel post. Um, and then I'll show you the next step from there. So I've created all five of my steps now. You can have more than that. You can have up to 10 um, images or graphics within one carousel post. Um, but I'm just going to create kind of a last final page. So I'm going to get rid of that um, swipe forwards option. So uh, just to s tell people that the main way I want them to go now is backwards. Uh, but what I'm going to do on this last page, rather than it be just leaving it as the last step, 
I'm going to then um, kind of promote my offer or kind of give people a call to action. You always want to be giving people a call to action with your Instagram posts. Um, so for this one, I'm going to be directing people towards my free Instagram course. Um, however, you could just ask them to comment or ask them to save this post or share this post. Um, but definitely include a call to action on that last uh, swipeable graphic. Okay, so I've added in the call to action now. So all of my steps are all ready for me to basically just go ahead and download these. And if you click the download button, what it will do is ask you if you want to download all the pages. And when you click download, it will then go ahead and basically put all of these as separate files into a folder for you that will then download to your computer. So that's done that. Now it's downloaded it as a zip file. And then if I open that, all of the files are in there. Then what you can do if you are using a Mac and you are also and you also have an iPhone, uh, you can just uh, control click on these and click share and just airdrop these to your phone ready to schedule. Or you can load them into your scheduling app of your choice, um, which is what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, that is how to create a swipeable carousel post. When you do add them into Instagram, regardless of whether you are using your kind of uh, schedule in advance app or whether you're doing that manually, all you need to do is select the kind of multi post option there, select all the images that you want to appear in the post, make sure they're all in the right order and then just carry on as you would a normal post. And that is all you need to do when it comes to posting it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you are interested in learning more about Instagram and how to use it and all sorts of things, including how to write engaging captions, using hashtags strategically, planning your content, understanding the algorithm, all of that stuff, I actually have a free Instagram online course that you can sign up for. There are nine really in-depth video lessons on there and it's completely free just to sign up and I will leave the link below in the description. So definitely go and check that out.